Everybody's got to die. Nobody's got to give up. And uh, Charlton Hill was very nice at the time. He, he liked to play tennis. He said, okay, Jorge, let's do the scene fast. <laughs> and let's go play tennis. <laughs> <laughs> We're lucky uh, to have you join us, too, to talk about this, but there's, there's something else. Your very first film, we were talking about it earlier, you were a masked wrestler. I love those movies. Yes. There was this called guy, uh, this guy called El Santo. Yes. He had a mask, mm -hmm. his boots, and he had a cape. So I was just, uh, let's say, like Batman and Robin. I was Robin, and I was helping El Santo to battle the bad guys. So it was, uh, I had to, the, the producer at the time said, do you know how to wrestle, Jorge? And I said, no, okay, I'm gonna send you so you learn how to wrestle. And they, he sent me over there where all the wrestlers wrestle. And there was this guy called La Tonina Jackson, Black Shadow, and all these guys, when I got there, they said, so you gonna do the movie with El Santo? We're going to teach you how to wrestle. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Holy Moses, I, I learned the hard way. <laughs> uh, that's an auspicious debut, but those, those films were terrific. They were their own unique superhero movies for uh, a, a generation. And, and some of the other films that you made before uh, breaking into the uh, American market, you worked with Pedro Armendariz Jr. Oh, yes. And uh, Emilio Fernandez. Yes. Oh. He directed me in a, in a movie. He was a very special man. He, he, at the time, of course, all these people I had seen when I was a child, I, I watched them, and all of a sudden I'm working with them. And uh, he was very... Very special guy. Emilio was Mapache in The Wild Bunch, and not only was an actor, but a, a famed director as oh, well. Very famous and very good and very talented. And uh, he wouldn't take uh, any, I don't want to say the word, from anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'd heard he carried a gun while he directed, is that oh, true? Oh, he carried a gun, and uh, <laughs> he always carried a gun, and mm -hmm. there was this actress at the time, he had a boyfriend and then uh, the boyfriend came and started arguing with him, took the gun out. Ooh. I said, this is gonna be ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. and did you ever work with uh, Gabriel Figueroa, the great oh, cinematographer? Oh yes, he, uh, he was the cinematographer. I, w I did with him three movies. Mm -hmm. as him as a cinematographer. Was he a fast uh, setting up uh, the shots and everything, or did he elaborate and take his time to make sure the lighting was just right? His films are, are stunningly he beautiful. He took his time. Mm -hmm. And he rehearsed with him, not with a stuntman, with the actor. Mm -hmm because he wanted to see his face, he was the right lighting and was the, mm. the whole thing. It was, <laughs> it was different. <laughs> yeah. Well, he sure shot beautiful films for John Ford. He yes. shot uh, The Fugitive. Yes. And beautiful black and white. Oh, yes. The one with uh, Henry Fonda. Oh, yes. And I, I think uh, Pedro Armendariz is, is, is in he, that. Yes, he was yeah. there, Pedro Armendariz and uh, all this, Famous actors before me. Mm -hmm. I was. Well, that uh, was a, the golden age of Mexican cinema, too, I think. Yes. Uh, when they were working. So, Did you ever work on a Sartana Western? On a what? Sartana? Sartana. No, because it was at the, at the time when they hired me, this guy, Mario Siciliano, hired me for uh, 10 movies. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't do anything else but with him. And then there was uh, then the, this other Italian and director. Uh, he was very very good. I made a movie called El Barbaro, the Barbarian. Mm -hmm. It was very good. I made it in the island called uh, La Isla Perdida, the Lost Island. Mm -hmm. It was it's in the Mediterranean. And it was 
we were filming there and he was, he was very picky, very particular in doing his scenes. And he hired me for a while to too, you know, so it was very hard to work with somebody else. Because uh, the movie was released part in London. At the time, John Wayne couldn't travel. So they, Howard Hawks asked me to go. We went over there to London. And so there was a press conference and the Italians were there. And everybody, we finished the movie. And of course I was there with John Wayne and the Italians came and he said, we, they want to hire me and for the Spaghetti Western. Sure. And I made a bunch of Spaghetti Westerns. <laughs> Yeah, we have some fans here. <laughs> and uh, they were done in Spain at a place called Almeria. Mm -hmm. it had, they had an American town, a Mexican town, and an Indian town. It would look like Arizona, this place. So the Spanish, the Spanish came to me and said, hey, you speak Spanish. Yes, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Good, so they hired me to. <laughs> So it was pretty good because then I really started working a lot. I was started working in Latin America, working in the United States, working in Canada, and working in Europe. So it was a very good time for me. That's the wonderful place to shoot all those spaghetti westerns in Spain. The Last Heart Man with Charlton Heston, James Corbin. Oh, that was a violent movie. <laughs> yes. Really. And Barbara was, Hershey. And Barbara oh. Hershey. And it Michael was... Parks. Two crazed men going back in time with their guns as judge and jury. Yeah, well, I don't know where you're going. You're going about six feet under. That's where you're going. They got seven guns, you're one. Everybody's got to die. Nobody's got to give up. And uh, Charlton Henry was very nice at the time. He, he liked to play tennis. He would say, okay, Jorge, let's do the scene fast. <laughs> and let's go play tennis. <laughs> <laughs> because I like to play tennis myself. So it was, uh, it was fun. He was a very nice guy too. I was very lucky mm -hmm. to be involved with these people, with John Wayne, with Charlton Heston, with all these people. And they were so nice to me and they opened the doors for me in reality all over the world. Right. Well, it's, it's a rare thing to have been able to work with that group. I mean, to go from John Wayne and Howard Hawks to uh, starring with Charlton Heston and James Coburn, and oh, another yes. one, The Last Hard Man. That that really, in the in the seventies, everything got so violent. Fighting against the reality of time, dueling to the death, no! driven by revenge. You were in one before Rio Lobo. Uh, Soldier Blue. Yes. Candace Bergen, who can ride. She's a good horseback oh, yeah. person. And, and Peter Strauss, Donald Pleasance. Yes. But the end of that movie is bloodier than Wild Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's Spotted Wolf. My God, sir, he's got a flag of truce. Yes, sir. It's a white flag. Nonsense. Will you see for I yourself? told you, Lieutenant, give the order. Yes, sir. Open fire! Nevertheless, Ready? the cavalry attacked, slaughtering 700 Indians. Hi! More than half of whom were women and children. They were bloody and it was very interesting. It was really my first movie at the time in reality. It was all done in Mexico. Uh, at the time it was uh, to work with them and to work with Candice Bergen. She was a big star. Mm -hmm. Wow, I mean, I'm working with all these big American stars. And I, I'm from Mexico. <laughs> Did you ever see John Wayne later after the film was done, Rio Lobo? No, because then I, at the time, then I started working very much in Europe. And uh, then I couldn't, I couldn't see him anymore. I saw his last movie, and then I heard he died. Mm -hmm. What did you think of his last movie, The Shootist? I liked it. Mm -hmm. I, I always liked John Wayne. Yeah. He was, he was my inspiration when I was growing up. So I always liked John Wayne. Mm -hmm. For me, I've been working with this big hombre. Yeah. Nothing better. <laughs> no, there's not. Well, it's great to see you. I've enjoyed your other films and, and hearing about your spaghetti westerns. I want to track those down now, too, sure. to see those. Oh, yeah. But, you uh, want to enjoy them. They're funny. And of, of all... <laughs> 
the non-John Wayne Westerns, that, uh, what's your favorite? You know what happens, you as an actor, when you start working on a movie, you give everything, and you hope everything comes the best. Some are very successful, and some are not. But I guess that's part of life. Mm -hmm. Well, Jorge, thank you for joining us today. It's a thrill. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for being here. Obviously, you love Westerns like we do, or you wouldn't have tuned in. We'd like to keep you happy. I want to be happy. I want to see more Westerns. Every Sunday, we post a new one. If you subscribe, like, comment, and then ring that bell, you won't miss a one. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.